Hi, my name is Alec. I'm an application engineer with N Topology, and today I want to talk to you about plate hexes and specifically plate hex patterns that we can do in N Top and get you know near instant feedback on design changes. So for today's N Top Live, we're going to go over some of the heat exchanger design considerations. Right, obviously in some instances we want to have higher surface areas on our plates where we have a, both a, a hot and cold fluid domains but we also want to be in control of maybe an area that we have laminar flow or an area where we have turbulent flow and then i want to kind of show you some examples i've put together that will give us a good idea of rapid design explorations right so that includes a, a checkerboard uh the chevron as well as a hybrid of both so let's get right in the software and for those of you that are familiar with NTOP, this layout is going to look very familiar. Uh, one thing I want to show you is that if you go to File, Settings, I do have my GPU acceleration enabled, and that's going to give us some fast renders of what we're working on. So right away, what we're working on here is we have the red sphere. And by moving this red sphere, I'm able to change the pattern of this hex plate. Um, so what I'm doing for those that have used NTOP before and you know maybe are more advanced users is I have a sphere here and I'm driving some waves off of it. So to give you an idea of what this looks like, I'm just going to make this a blank plate. And we can do a little drawing on it and, and use it as a whiteboard. So here we have a blank plate, right? And when I have a sphere up here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drive a plane that is using a cosine function. And you, you don't need to be a math whiz to know this, but you're gonna go normal from this plane and we're gonna apply a wave. And this wave is gonna have some characteristics and traits that we wanna use to remap this plate. And by remapping, I mean, we're not taking out, you know, uh, Boolean subtract to the plate and Boolean union. What we're, we're doing, right, is we're literally reconfiguring the plate so when we see it and also we go to print this part or maybe we're going to use this as a, a stamp and die to actually produce the stamped plate when we go to work in this we're going to have a good representation and accurate depiction of what these constructive and destructive waves look like to make a plate so let's go over to the left here i'll move these back and Something I want you to pick up on here is how fast things are moving when I do a render. Um, again, this first render for plate types we have is a checker. The checker only utilizes the red sphere. And that red sphere, depending on where we put the location, we're going to be able to change the pattern. Uh, another thing we can do is we can move on to our chevron. And the chevron is going to utilize a blue sphere. So let's load the chevron. And we'll see the blue sphere pop up as I isolate it and toggle the visibility. So we have this blue sphere right in the center. And when I move this, I'm able to get a live representation of what this looks like. So now you'll see up here we have these nice arcing inlets. And then we move transition into more defined peaks and valleys. And look how thin this remains as I'm working in the software. And that's thanks to the remap tool that I'm using to do this. So again, something that's nice about this workflow I have set up, very simple, right? We're just changing a few inputs and that's gonna instantly give us feedback on what we're working on. So maybe that's the width, let's move that to 100. Now we're gonna make a little bit wider plate. Um, another thing we could do is we could say, hey, you know, uh, we, our inlets, we have a 20 millimeter diameter or a 10 millimeter radius, right? So let's keep it at 10, but maybe that's not the case. Maybe you're a little bit smaller. So we can change the inlets depending on the size part that we're creating. And if you can think of it, NTOP is going to create it. That's what's so great about NTOP. Um, another thing I want you to keep in mind, right, is we don't have to just stop with maybe this plate. We could pull in, you know, a surface area from body. And this is going to give us an idea of how our changes are affecting the surface area of the plate. And of course, increasing surface area is going to make our life a little easier if we're looking, you know, exchange fluids and have a little bit smoother transitions. Um, another thing we can think of is what if I don't want to have just these laminar lines? Maybe I want to take in some of the characteristics from our checkered and make a hybrid of both the blue sphere and the red sphere. 
And again, what's nice is I can go to this drop down and I can just click on our hybrid and it's going to recreate what we were working on. And again, um, this probably isn't the plate that you're going to make, right? But we're able to see a quick, uh, rapid visualization of moving these spheres and, and what happens. So let's, let's move this guy around and, and get something a little more useful for our talk. So let's put this right around mid plane. We'll let this render, right? That looks a little bit better. And then let's get this guy right in the center point up top. And by just moving the center point of both the blue sphere and the red sphere, I'm able to be in control of the design. So now I have some more turbulent peaks and valleys, and that's going to transition into some nice laminar directions of our inlets and outlets. So now that we've kind of gone over the basics of this file, I want you to deep, in, uh, deep dive into it, kind of get an idea of what's happening behind the scenes. Uh, this makes it simple to do fast design iterations. And by all means, please check out the three play types that I've kind of teed up for you and uh, let me know what you think and also provide some feedback. If you have questions, reach out. Um, my contact information's in the slides in the beginning of this video, as well as in the links below. Thanks everyone, have a great day.